yet. I'm Maria Bowshaw and I'm director here at the Whitworth and I hope you will forgive my Saturday clothes. I would like to say during the week I'm more smartly dressed but since I have um, teenage children to collect and carry from one part of the city to another after this, I'm in my um, off day clothes. Um, but we're all here actually to be sociable. So I think however we're dressed, it's, it's perfect. Um, we are delighted to be hosting this afternoon's concert and this drinks reception ahead of it. This has come about because of a friendship with the, the Pakistani consul Zahor, who came to see me about six months ago now um, to introduce himself and to see the new expanded Whitworth Gallery and to explore what we might be able to do together because he is a very near neighbour both to the gallery but also to where I live because I live just north the Curry Mile. Um, so I am a local resident as well as the gallery director. And what Sahor and I talked about was um, the ways in which we might ensure that we really realise the potential of the Whitworth Gallery for all the local people who live close to here. This is a hugely important institution. It's been part of Manchester's cultural life for 125 years. But it hasn't always been very actively, actively connected to the incredibly diverse local communities that surround us. And when I came here 10 years ago, the gallery turned its back on the park. It didn't look down Rush Home High Street, and it didn't reach out and connect to all our neighbours. So we set about making a plan both to develop the gallery's programmes and eventually to expand its building with the support of the Heritage Lottery Fund and the University and Arts Council England. So what you see now is a gallery that reaches out to its park, whose spaces are visible from the outside. So if you walk across Whitworth Park of a morning, you can look in and see the art. And you can see that there are people enjoying the artworks that we have here. And what we intend is that that welcome is opened out to many, many more people. And most particularly, in the next three years, we are really focused on expanding our relationships with the South Asian communities that live very close to the gallery. We have had extraordinary support from the Arts Council of England and to build a programme over the next three years to work with the Lahore Biennial, the Karachi Biennial, the Kochi Biennial, the Dakar Art Summit and the Colombo Biennial. So we will have partnerships with arts organisations in the countries that make up the South Asian continent. And we will be bringing artists from that part of the world to Manchester. And through those programmes we hope we will make even better relationships with people of South Asian descent who live here and call themselves Mancunians now. So, this concert was an opportunity. Sahul realised that we had a visiting artist coming to Manchester and musicians and DJs from Birmingham and Bradford who could be cut, brought together to do a free concert. Because the thing that we know is when we offer cultural opportunities that are free to everybody and particularly happen outside. So even before you come into the gallery, you get a sense that there's something really interesting going on for you. We knew we'd be able to bring many people who perhaps previously thought the gallery wasn't open to them. And as we do that, we grow a greater sense of civic pride and connectedness. So I, as gallery director, am absolutely delighted to be hosting this and I would just like to um, offer my thanks um, as well as say what an honour it has been to work with you, Sapor, to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you.